So the man's name is Siri Pabun, and he's about 75 years old now. Turns out he was involved in the communist revolution in Laos. We're talking like in the 1970s. He finds out that he's a host to a thousand year old shaman and that he can see dead people. Now, usually in the course of a mystery novel, if somebody tells you that there's something supernatural going on, my first instinct is to run for the door. We are a used bookstore that runs like a new bookstore, but we also have lots of other things going on because we have gardens, we have goats, we have cats. A nirvana for book people. I mean, we are so blessed to be able to work in the book business, but to come here and see, as you look at it today, you know, we, we take in 10,000 books a week. Back in 1988, back in the dark days, this is what the shirt is about now. It all started with a couch and three bookcases. The main part of the barn at that point was an antique business. She eventually set up to sell the property, including the house, to Randy and Mo, and it just began this sort of creeping process of getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Eventually, it took over the entire barn. Oh boy, it's grown a lot, I'll say that for it. I mean, it's sort of like just kind of, it almost has its own life. It just sort of grew. I mean, I couldn't say anyone was particularly responsible for it, except for Randy and Mo, for the most part. Years ago, we owned a pizza house, and I was always a new book reader. And um, Chuck over here used to manage the bookstore in the New London Mall, and they asked me if I wanted to work Christmas time in the mornings, and I did, and just absolutely fell in love with the book business. I was working for the booksmith in the New London Mall, and I hired him to come to work for me after a while. And then, about three years into that, he went off to do the book barn, so I came to work for him par very part-time for a long time. Raised my kids here, Brought my two kids when they were babies here to work with me every day, and then eventually went to work for him full time. One of the, the beauties of this property was just the, the possibilities that were here. There really were no gardens or no anything else, but when you just, you, you came here, you could feel something about the property that was just, I, I don't know, just very special. To get to work with books all day is just, I mean, that's my idea of fun. For one thing, you'll never work for nicer people. You'll never work with nicer people. It's a great, it's a terrific gang of people that he's got. It's a big family, basically. The people that work here basically are my, my extended family. I mean, these are my best friends. I work with my best friends. So we get to see books of every size, shape, condition, subject that you can possibly think of. Randy and most of us here are pretty much the same thing. We're not so much collectors as we are readers. We're just sort of book crazy, all of us. People on the crew all tend to read different types of things. So someone will come in and want a young adult novel and it's like, okay, I've read four of them, but Darcy here has read just about everything. I love the fact that people will just come in and not even ask or talk or, or mention, just walk, walk right over and grab a cup of coffee, grab a donut and off they go and wandering in amongst the stacks looking for what they look for. But yet, you know, never even glancing to see if it's okay. They just know that's what you do. You grab a coffee and you grab a book bag and go, go find some books. I also like that people will talk amongst themselves or, you know, you start talking about books and somebody will jump in and say, oh, what about this guy or that guy? It's a place of conversation as much as money changing hands. You'll have people sitting out in stray corners of the gardens having very heated discussions. And that's what you see here, just people talking about books. And that's something when if they're ever gone, yes, it's wonderful to get a book in the, on the internet, but you're never gonna have that community. One of the nicest letters we, we got was a young woman. Her mother had been extremely ill during this time. She didn't have a huge amount of money to spend. And she just said, the barn was someplace I came to have a little moment of sanity. It was kind of a, a, a comfortable place for this woman to be when I think not a lot else was comfortable in her life. 
you know, it's a great place to just go sit here at night in the evening, relax and start talking about books. I mean, that's where I fell in love with the book business. I'm going to stay here until I can no longer do the job. I don't plan on retiring, ever. When I can't do the job anymore, I will leave. But until I can't do the job, I'm going to stay right here. I love what I do. Thank you.